just gotta tell you it's not easy. It takes a lot of hard work, dedication, a lot of blessings, a lot of luck. It's lucky. If you work extremely hard at whatever you got going on, something that you love to do, I swear to God, your life will change. It takes one whole year to see crazy improvements. Aiden Ross was born October 11, 2000 in the state of Florida. His parents would have an on and off relationship for most of his life, causing him to frequently move. He spent most of his time between New York and California with his mom or his dad, sometimes both. When Aiden was three years old, his parents left him at his aunt's house for a few days. She was young and didn't know much about taking care of a three-year-old, so his parents made sure to leave him with a Nintendo 64. Although he was young and couldn't even talk yet, he sat and played Mortal Kombat for hours each day. You could say from that experience and moving forward, he fell in love with gaming. Like most gamers, his passion only grew stronger as he got into his early teens. Playing games like RuneScape, World of Warcraft, and Minecraft also brought a sense of social life with him. Even though they were online games, he was making friends in these communities and meeting new people. His parents supported this, but at the same time, they grew up in a different generation, so they didn't fully understand why he was spending so much time online. His dad even took his Xbox away one summer in hopes Aiden would spend more time outside. After spending the entire summer without games, his dad rewarded him with a new Xbox, which really motivated him. Although Aiden says his upbringing was pretty average, he has now opened up about some traumatic experiences that have helped shape the person he is now. When he was 12 years old, he was stabbed by a mentally unstable family member in his sleep. Being awoken in the middle of the night and completely numb from the adrenaline, he pulled the knife out himself before being rushed to the hospital. After getting 9 stitches, he would eventually recover, but not without the trauma he now endured. Gaming was just one of those things that helped him escape from the realities of things like this. At the time, the internet was changing too. YouTube and Twitch were becoming more popular platforms, and with them, gaming communities were migrating there. Seeing that people were making a living off this, it really inspired him, so at 14, he decided to take a chance at making content. Initially going by the username aiden 2 Huncho, he started streaming his favorite game at the time, NBA 2K14. He really enjoyed the process and started to get 10 to 20 viewers watching him, which wasn't bad for a 14 year old. Unfortunately, the internet at his dad's house wasn't the best. Refusing to give up though, he decided to upload YouTube videos instead. Word at school started to spread about his content, and his high school classmates started to tease him about it. Laughing at him and calling his videos cringy really started to demotivate him. It eventually caused him to quit altogether. Alright, listen up. I got a brand new modem and router. If this shit does not work, if, the, if this booter can still pull my stuff and hit me off, oh hell will break loose. Smoking on packs, preferably black leopard con. He tried to come back in 2016 and make more content, but once again, the bullying at school was too much. He spent his junior year of high school like any other teenager, but deep down he knew he just needed one more chance if he could get to the mental state where he didn't care what others thought. The day before senior year started, he got a letter in the mail from Spectrum. They were offering a new internet speed that would be perfect for streaming. The only issue was it was $100 a month, and his dad had recently lost his job and was really struggling. They tried four different credit cards, which all got declined, but Aiden begged his dad to help him figure it out, knowing he could blow up if he put his mind to it. Eventually, they upgraded the internet, and he made a promise to himself. He didn't want to miss out on social experiences his senior year, but he also knew college wasn't an option, so he had to put the work in now. He spent the first half of the year streaming and enjoying parties and other social activities. But when the second half of the year came around, he promised to focus all his attention after school to just streaming. A lot of his friends didn't believe in what he was trying to accomplish at the time, but it didn't matter because Aiden knew. Putting hundreds of hours streaming NBA 2K19, he began to build a small following of people. By the end of high school, he managed to land $15,000 worth of sponsorships for college. But he was already averaging 200 viewers now, and he knew he just had to continue growing. In his own words, college just wasn't for him. His family was upset, but they trusted his process. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, your parents are, might be the hardest people in your life that you got to convince. However, once you start getting that leverage to where you can be like, yo, mom, dad, look, fuck off for a little bit. Let me grind at what I got going on right now. This is something special and great. Don't ever He moved to LA that summer where his sister had an apartment and was letting him stay. He did get a job as a busboy, but it ended up not working out. 
NBA 2K20 had just dropped and Aiden was playing religiously as his viewer count slowly rose. It was around this time that wager matches for money started to become very popular. On top of it, the COVID pandemic had hit, and with many people out of work, the popularity of watching Twitch streams was rising. Seeing this opportunity, Aiden started collabing with other streamers and betting on games. This alone was enough to push his average viewer count from a few hundred to over a thousand, and finally enough for him to make enough money that he could take care of himself. As if this wasn't fast enough growth, Aiden ended up meeting and collabing with Bronny James. One day after winning a 2 on 2 match with Bronny, he gave Aiden the opportunity to talk to his dad, LeBron James, on Discord. Can I say hi? Is LeBron? <laughs> he said, is this LeBron? <laughs> After news outlets and the community posted about this online, once again, Aiden's viewer count jumped to another level. His Instagram and Twitter followers went up and a lot of people began tuning in. Steadily growing his fan base, he utilized TikTok and YouTube, uploading highlights after most of his streams. Within six months, Aiden doubled his stream size to over 8,000 viewers just playing NBA. Although he wasn't the best player out there, he built his fan base off his personality and his ability to entertain. Who would have thought that I'd be collabing with all these people and shit? I, I just knew it. I knew I was built for it. I knew I was gonna do it. I did it. I I I, I just knew I wasn't gonna fail, and I just wanted this shit really fucking bad, bro. I went eight and wrong, so I'm gonna play the ball. You want titties? I'm gonna pay the cost. Buy new clothes, take them off, with my dick paws. In September of that year, NBA 21 had dropped, and he was excited to grow his stream with it more. Unfortunately, the game went down as one of the worst releases that year due to various reasons. This left him at a crossroad, unsure where to take his content from there. But this is where Aiden broke out where most streamers peak. He started expanding his content and trying other ideas. Setting up e-dates where popular and good looking girls would join his discord and participate in online dates. It ended up being a huge success, taking his career to the top 5% of Twitch streamers. Seeing how well diversifying his content worked out, he knew he could get his followers to watch him anywhere. So he continued to stream different things. NBA, e-dates, GTA roleplaying all helped bring attention to his name. But Aiden always had a passion for music and would often discuss it in his streams as well. This is when he got the idea to use his platform to include himself in the hip hop scene. The first rapper he ever collaborated with was Soldier Boy where they played Among Us together. But he wanted to take things a step further, he wanted to bring the rappers to him. With all the hard work he had put in, his reach was becoming so large that bringing artists on his stream actually benefited them more than it did him. Lil TJ, Tory Lanez, Polo G, and NLA Choppa are just a few artists Aiden has brought out on stream. Some of them used his platform to promote their music, and others would go viral for their freestyles with Aiden. This was probably the best decision he had made so far. Not only did these streams bring massive amounts of new viewers, but it gave Aiden a unique place in hip-hop culture. Viral moment after viral moment, he climbed his way to the top within a few years. Today, he's one of Twitch's top streamers and continues to evolve his content. Aiden has a gift when it comes to knowing how to stay in the public's eye. He keeps his viewers entertained, and you never really know what he's going to do next. He's managed to not only transform his life, but also many others associated with him. But people, people don't understand. Like People are like, yo, Aiden, you have the best life ever. You're the luckiest guy in the world. I'm very lucky to be where I am. I'm very lucky to have certain shit, but it comes with a lot of crazy shit too and pressure to like just keep the machine going keep, keep it going keep stuff happening yeah, yeah that shit it's crazy bro